Hello guys, Gladiator Bricks here with a review, I mean a talk. Well, I could go ahead and review these items, because you're probably all wondering and wanting to see this up close. This is an alien, Xenomorph from Halo. I mean not Halo, I mean from the video movie The Alien, of course. And this is the Predator. Now I will say something I don't like about this figure. They didn't detail his give him like detailed dreadlocks but then again what do you expect from these city figures I mean it's at least the helmets is pretty detailed and it made my stop motion epic I love this guy because he made my stop motion a little more epic and I might do another stop motion with this dude in it the problem is I'd have to buy like 10 or 20 of those for it to be a cool stop motion unless I did like where he's a standalone alien species Anyways, I'm going to pretty much talk a bunch about about what ideas I'm coming up that I, to ask you guys some questions at get out of here, Charlie. Oh. I mean, really. Ever since I bought that polar bear at the flea market, he's been giving me trouble. I mean, he keeps sneaking into the into every. Ice, he just starts to sneak into the movie, and I, Charlie, that's it. I'm putting you right here where you don't cause any trouble. Yeah, you can be in the movie. Anyways, like I said, the um, I've pretty much been working on thinking of uh, stop motions and such, but I do like to take requests, but ahead of time, no, I do not do giveaways. I never will. Unless I get a job that pays me $1,000 a month, I am not doing giveaways. Anyways, sorry to say that, but anyways, back to this fact. I am actually working, trying to get ideas. Now, I will explain why I have not done very many World War, have never done a why I only did one World War II mock, because I kind of felt like it was a horrible mock, and I did a horrible job at it. I kind of believe I do terrible at World War II mocks, and that's why I don't do World War II mocks. There's other reasons why I won't do normal mocks, because I like... I did do an alien mock once, which I forgot to review, which I'm still hitting myself over the head for, because it was an epic mock. I mean, it was, it had, it had a ceiling thing. I'm going to try to remake that mock, but I'm going to put this guy as the main minifigure in it instead of building the Xenomorph again, because I already got this guy. Might as well use him in the mock. So if I ever rebuild that mock, he goes in the mock instead of, the, it's, oops, fell over again. Oh, well, well, I'm putting you back. I'm putting you inside the castle. Yeah. Not too much of a fan of the Xenomorph, I'll explain. But I will quickly grab something. Let's go ahead and p pull this guy out of the way. Now, I'm just trying to figure out... Keep... Pretty much trying to keep on building it and looking for new ideas and such. Oh, but I will show you guys something new. I updated a character that you all probably know that I already know that Geo the Jedi's mom is going to love this. I updated Sally. Yep, I updated her armor, her design, everything about her. So she'd look a lot more cool. She has a better gun belt. She even has a kind of a, has a lime green texture shirt underneath which matches her armor and she even has sleeveless design just like just like shadow kind of so it kind of looks like so if I put shadow right next to her kind of makes it look more like he takes after her kind of see the only design that she doesn't have is kind of the strange crack on his helmet but he actually start his uh, helmet's not really cracked it just the paint keeps peeling off every time and I haven't got around to repairing it. Anyways, let's go back. 
let's go ahead and grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab something out of ooh I just found something in my mega blocks that would be a cool weapon to have in Lego form for shadow because that's the weapon I really want him to use that's another weapon I'd love to have him use boom the gravity hammer anyways that's it for today comment and subscribe